With so many products in the market, it could get tricky to figure out which camera is best for your streaming setup. Elgato has a bunch of camera solutions, so let's talk about them. First off, Epoch Cam. There's no denying that iPhone cameras are getting better and better every year. So Elgato takes advantage of this with its Epoch Cam app, which can easily transform your iPhone into the ultimate streaming camera tool. Epoch Cam is free to use watermarked with the option to upgrade to the pro version for $7.99 US, which I think is totally worth it since it's unlocked even more features like HD 1080p capture, HDR, you could use your phone as a wireless mic, play around with the Snapchat filters, and much more. Now, what makes this super clutch for me is that it has a wide angle camera support, so you could toggle easily between your iPhone's cameras and switch between your wide angle lens, your telephoto lens, and even your ultra wide lenses, all while being wireless. So this option is not only great for streamers on a budget, but also for anyone who wants to walk around or unlock fun angles during their stream. Honestly, I think it's pretty cool. Now, I know what you're thinking, Siobhan. Yes, the setup process is super simple. All you need to do is just download the Epop Cam app to your iPhone and install the driver onto your computer of choice. Once both devices are connected to each other's Wi-Fi or USB, you're ready to go. And that's it for Epop Cam. Super simple and I love it. Next up, we have Facecam. Now, if you're specifically looking to step up your webcam game, the Facecam is a killer option. This is Elgato's first webcam, which I reviewed previously on my channel last year, and I gotta say, they really delivered. So this is a full HD 1080p webcam that could shoot up to 60 frames per second. It also has a 24 millimeter prime lens with a f2.4 aperture and a Sony Starvis CMOS sensor. So basically what that all means is that it allows it to capture more light so it could perform at its peak performance in any light conditions. There are some webcams on the market that have plastic lenses, but that's not the case here. The face cam has an 8 element all glass lens to avoid warping or color distortion, which just ups the overall quality of the video. When it comes to the overall image, you have the ability to allow face cam to take care of automatic corrections. However, if you're a streamer looking for more customization, face cam got you covered here as well, since you have complete control over ISO, shutter speed, saturation, sharpness, contrast, the list goes on and on. As a content creator myself, I'm always looking for ways to make my setups as efficient as possible. So a really neat feature for this webcam is also the fact that it has flash memory. Meaning, you could configure all your custom settings in its Camera Hub software as defaults. So you could use them in any app that supports a webcam and be ready to just stream as soon as possible. Overall, I think this is a great option for streamers, content creators, or anyone who is just looking for a more traditional, static webcam setup, while also preferring the versatility of saving their custom settings. And yeah, face cam is really good too. Next up, this one's my favorite. Whew, the Camlink 4K. And I gotta say it, this small device packs a punch. It offers the ability to hook up your DSLR and mirrorless cameras action cams which is super handy because while at 1080p 60 frames per second is a great resolution this is a guy could allow you to elevate your setup to 4k at 30 frames per second similarly to the face cam this option is also amazing for someone wanting to have full control over their setup with this option for example you get full access to features of your own cameras and the ability to hook up different lenses so you know if you want to have that blurry background instead of depending on software to do so, you quickly just swap out your lens to a larger aperture. Overall, it's just a really flexible camera solution since you get to switch lenses depending on the needs and I've been personally using this setup for years. So yeah, if you have a really nice lens and a really nice camera, the possibilities are endless with Camlink 4K. Similarly to the previous Elgato products we've talked about, it's very easy to set up. You just need a few extra things like an HDMI cable to run from your camera to the Camlink, Elgato also recommends having a dummy battery on hand just in case you're using DSLR and mirrorless cameras your camera doesn't overheat or shut down while you're streaming. So once you have all those extra pieces all you need to do is just download Elgato's 4K capture utility software and as soon as you connect your camera to the Camlink 4K it will get recognized right away. It's really good. Thank me later. Woo! Next up we got the Camlink Pro. It's basically the Camlink but on steroids. This thing is actually crazy. Now, let me tell you, one of the best ways to stand out during your stream and showcase your creativity is by having multiple camera angles, all right? 
and Elgato's Camlink Pro got you covered. This option is great for someone who's looking to really step it up by having the ability to hook up not one, not two, not three, but four different camera angles. Similarly to the Camlink 4K, this option supports 4K 30 streams that could work simultaneously across your cameras. To me, this is also an unreal option because you could set up your four HDMI inputs to appear as separate devices in OBS, vMix, or any encoding software of your choice. So you can position, resize, and overall customize each video feed to have ultimate control. There's also a built-in Elgato MultiView that lets you combine the four camera feeds in one source, which can definitely come in handy too. Now, I know, it sounds complicated, but it's super easy to set up. All you need to do is just plug your Camlink Pro directly into your motherboard via the PCIe slot and download the Elgato 4K Capture Utility software. Paired up with Elgato Stream Deck, you can easily now just switch between any angle, no problem. So, like I mentioned before, this is definitely a dream option for someone looking for the ultimate streamer setup by adopting the PCIe route. You can also do more stuff like have more bandwidth for a more stable connection. Honestly, I just think Elgato is just really killing the game when it comes to their camera solutions. If you're tired of looking like a potato on the stream, Elgato definitely has an option for everyone within every budget. I'll leave all the links in the description down below for you guys to check them out and make sure to let me know in the comments which option you guys are digging the most. For me, the Camlink 4K. I love it. It's portable. You could use it anywhere. Why not? Also, if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, hit the buttons, all that good stuff. And yeah, as always, love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out.